To the New Bethel Church Children's Ministry Virtual Service. We are so excited that you are joining us today, and we're excited about the adults here as well. If you haven't already noticed, today's lesson is, You Can Run But You Can't Hide. And we're going to dive in to the story of Jonah. So, let's get started. what they deserve since they want to listen and so he decided to go the complete opposite way of where God told him to go. So he goes, buys a ticket and gets on a boat to go to a place called Tarshish which is in the exact opposite direction of where he was told to go. So they're on the boat and the other people who are on there are getting scared because a big storm comes and waves are crashing all over the place and they're so scared. And so they ask each other like, what could be the cause of this? Why is this happening? And 
they end up finding out that Jonah is the reason. And so they go to the bottom of the boat where Jonah is sleeping. It's like, how is he sleeping in a storm like that? But they wake up and go, Jonah, Jonah, what is going on? You see that you're the reason for this storm. And he had told them that he was ready to die and that they should blow him overboard. And they were like, no. We're not throwing him overboard. That's crazy. Let's empty some of the stuff out of our boat. That should make the boat a little lighter and we might be able to be okay with the storm. And the storm got worse. So then they prayed to God and they said that they were sorry for not throwing him overboard like he told them to. And they threw him overboard. And then a big fish just came and gulped Jonah right up. So he spends three days and three nights in this fish. And while he's in the fish, he's praying. And he realizes that he should have been obedient to what God asked him to do. So on that third day, the fish fits him out on the shore. And he decides to go ahead and go to Nineveh. And he announces to the whole town, it took him three days to cover the whole town because it was so big. And he told them, you guys need to follow the laws of the Lord or you guys are going to have to suffer the consequences and they immediately decided to change their ways and do what God told them to do and even the king told them we need to follow this rule that God has put in place for us and so this is a great story of how important it is to be obedient when God tells us to do something we need to do it when your parents tell you to do something you need to do it because God sees what the big picture is and because of their obedience, God was gracious to them and gave them a wonderful life there in Nineveh. So remember, it is so important to be obedient. Bye guys. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh, he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. The people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved.
because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. We are going to play some music for you to pray with your parents, siblings, or perhaps alone. I will come back and end the prayer with you. Where you go, I'll go. Where you say, I'll stay. When you Give us the strength and courage to do all the things that you want us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi guys, this is a cool craft I found relating to the story of Jonah that you can do at home. These are just some of the supplies that I use, but feel free to improvise and get some help from your parents, just in case you don't have these things around the house. I'm sure you can find something similar so that the activity can still turn out great. Here it goes.
hope you enjoyed today's service. Please go back and watch previous uploads here on our YouTube channel. Also stay connected to us on our social media page at New Bethel KC, as well as our website, newbethelkc.org backslash children. Have a great week.